Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Cowboys never gonna get it. Anyway, uh, it's your boy Lord Kell back with the uh, Eagles win free agency part two. Uh, last time we talked about the you know like the simple foundation of laying down of of how we won free agency, why we won free agency, who we picked up, who everybody else picked up. Now in this video we'll go into more about why our signings are more qualified as a Super Bowl roster. And uh, compared to the other teams in our division, uh, Dallas, Robert Quinn, uh, who I still feel like is a scapegoat for if they can't sign Demarcus Lawrence off that franchise tag. Uh, they got Randall Cobb, who's on the last leg of his career from his injury history, you know, hamstrings made of glass type shit. And then they got George Iloka. I don't know, man. His name sounds funny to say. I look up. <laughs> I look at y'all <laughs> in the third place division this year. But, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, George I look up, um, Just signings that don't really mean shit. You got an old ass Randall Cobb, even though I think he's still not 30 yet. But from his injury list, you know, he gets hurt like he gets hurt like an old man. I mean, the man has hamstring problems. He had that uh, year of the ACL and yada, yada, yada. So you can't rely on that. And they got George Iloka, who only has nine interceptions in, uh, for this whole half decade of his career. You, so that means you get one interception every year. That's just terrible. And the Cowboys want us to feel intimidated by this move. And no. mind you, mind you, I'll say this. I loca came from the Bengals, so we can't. Well, yes, I can. Like, well, I can and I can't because you're a professional player, professional secondary, and you only get nine picks. Out of the many passes that come your direction, you only pick off nine of them in like a four or five year span of your career. So, I don't know. And then a lot of their, um, and then a lot of their starting lineup has only seen three playoff games, and that's not even past really like the first or second round because they went 2016 and then they went again in 2018. Uh, so they're starting five, only seeing three games. And then like the players they picked up don't have any playoff experience. They're probably just after a quick check and uh, to have a star in the helmet because for some reason it's so iconic to be a cow. Like it's so iconic to be a Dallas Cowboy. But that's neither here or there. Like the only person who would have playoff experience is Randall Cobb. And Randall Cobb played his whole career in the slot position. So you can't really, you know, I mean, he needs a quarterback to throw him the ball. And Dak Prescott, as we've seen before, as he gets later on to the season, like, they become a run-heavy team. They need to run the ball. Um, so that's where I leave it there. They have no playoff experience. And then we move up to the Redskins. They sign Brian Quick, Eric Flowers, garbage. OL, Zach Karen, garbage. Only know who he is. Landon Collins, garbage. Only seen one playoff game. He got bounced out in the first round. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Landon Collins is that dude, though, man. Uh, he's an all-pro safety. Got to take that back. Um, the Giants got Cody Latimer, cool. Benny Fowler, okay. Golden Tate, okay. Um... Has uh, has only seen two playoff games, and that was with us. Um, oh, you know what? I'm lying. Uh, I think Golden Tate was on the Seahawks, so he might, like the Giants might have you know, like picked up some because he's a good slot receiver, and he's the best receiver when it comes to yards after the catch. So that's pretty good. Antoine Bethea, he has playoff experience. I think he won a Super Bowl with the Colts, I want to say. And then he had that small stint with Arizona. Uh, then Benny Fowler. I like Benny Fowler because he played for the Broncos. He's really good with them. Uh, very receiver with good hands. So the Giants have actually did better than the Cowboys in free agency. So <laughs> that's sad, right? The team that's destined to go 4-12 and this year is did better in free agency than the Dallas Cowboys because they have more receivers and um, and uh, extra hand in the, and an extra hand in the secondary. So pretty good. But they lost more than they gained because they lost uh, B.W. Webb, who knows their defense better than uh, Antoine Bethea. Uh, so they definitely lost experience, and they lost one of their best pass rushers and uh, pass rushers and uh, Connor Barwin. So uh, it's up to you what you really think. If you lost more, you gained. I personally think that you 
personally lost more than you gained, Giants fans, but that's just me. Um, and then we move on to the Eagles free agency. Uh, we have Malik Jackson, uh, two time, uh, two Super Bowl appearances with the Broncos, 11 playoff appearances. Uh, had a pretty bad stint in Jacksonville. Uh, not even going to bet about that. Everybody has bad stints where they are. Um, yeah, so he has 11 playoff games with two Super Bowl appearances. Definitely, definitely going to bring that maturity to our defensive line room. Uh, and then the additions of Vinnie Curry and Brandon Graham, uh, who are respectively top three. Uh, in the past few years, and I think rushes, I want to say, according to Pro Football Focus. Yeah. So, uh, pretty good uh, re-signing and signings. Uh, I personally think that we should never let go of Vinnie Curry. Um, and both these guys have playoff experiences as well. And, and then we got Deshaun Jackson. Like I say that, Deshaun. But, but oh, yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, so Deshaun Jackson uh, with seven playoff games, most six-yard TDs in NFL history. No other receiver has that. And then he has seven uh seven 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 maybe eight a thousand yard seasons out of a 12 yard career that's not bad at all and uh with the passing game that we're about to have this year with Carson Wentz being on a mission uh for another uh, MVP caliber season I can see I can see Deshaun Jackson definitely uh doing big things putting up big numbers with that as well and then we got LJ Fort from the Steelers although he played preseason and like I think special team snaps with the Steelers uh he has pretty good film on him and he and he also has playoff experience uh four playoff games uh appearances uh that's more than the Cowboys starting starting 11 on both sides um and then we got and then we have uh Andrew Sandejo hard hitting Andrew Sandejo who got run over by LeGarrette Blount in 2016, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, he has four playoff games experiences, and, and he uh, re-signed Ronald Darby. This is also very good for our roster. Uh, also, serves, uh, it shows to prove that the Eagles have a formidable roster, uh, a Super Bowl roster, um, a uh, a roster that is contending for a playoffs, that has playoff experiences, that knows how to play during the regular season, and will uh, slowly progress into the playoffs. Now, uh, another thing I want to address is our uh, signing of Jordan Howard from the Bears. Um, a lot of people say that his production has dropped like this year, but I know a lot of people don't read stats, so I will bring them up for you. Um, uh, Jordan Howard's stats dropped because he started catching the ball more, and if you look at his stats, uh, you'll see that he has about six, six, seven hundred yard receiving yards for the whole year, with uh, I think twenty one hundred yards in scrimmage yards. Uh, you know, like somewhere around there, margin a margin of error, a hundred yards. So, so at least two thousand, two thousand one hundred yards this year. So he had more. He still did better this year than he than he has in his previous years. It's the fact that instead of running the ball downhill more, the offensive scheme of Matt Nagy or Nagy, whatever, uh, however you pronounce that name, um, uh, his scheme was more towards the running backs. Uh, catching the ball out of the backfield, which you saw that switch army knife, uh, Tree Cohen doing more of the running back work of the year. And um, this is why you saw the 3.7 yards per carry uh, or 3.4, 2.7 yards per carry for um, Jordan Howard. Uh, that's mainly that. But besides that, I don't want to go on too long. Uh, he has a long, uh, he had the longest run of his career this year. He had, he had more yards from scrimmage due to his increase in production and his receiving aspect of his game. And then, um, Again, I said most scrimmage yards. So, and then the Dallas starting eleven um, only has seen three playoff games, have a one and two record, uh, while our starting eleven has a four and one record, with the exception of Malik Jackson with his eleven playoff appearances, with two Super Bowl appearances, one win. Malcolm Jenkins eleven playoff uh, games uh, because of his time um, with the Saints when he won the Super Bowl, and then I think he went to a couple play more. A couple more playoff games after that, and then he went to, and then he went four and one with us, uh, with the Eagles. So, all all very stout and just on to proving the point that we have a playoff roster and a Super Bowl contending roster compared to the NFC East, and also solidifies the fact that we have one free agency.